Several hundred times a day, you will be absorbing information from printed advertisements, from television advertisements, radio advertisements. All of those sources of information are actually trying to get you to make a decision in a short space of time, which is what your CV does. You need to use the same kind of language. So it's language that has a particular kind of power and instantly gets across what you want to say in the style that you want to say it. Be creative with your language, but make sure that you know what that language means. And for me, it's about using other tools like a dictionary and a thesaurus. So beginning a bullet point with a strong verb like organised or led or initiated, that helps. Naming well-known organisations, that helps. Talking about tangible achievements uh, also helps in your bullet points. Identified, um, achieved, um, augmented, developed, created, um, initiated. Using words like this can help to describe your experiences in such a way as to emphasise what you have achieved rather than what you simply did. There is a great difference between having an active description of what it is that you have done and having a passive description. So a passive description is met project timescale. Not bad, but how much better does achieved project timescale sound? Similarly, how many times have we seen this? Responsible for repair programme. How about changing that to headed repair program, implemented quality procedures. A lot of people do that. But how about drove quality program? So much more positive. And lastly, suggested product enhancements. We've seen that in plenty of CVs, but oh, how much more positive it sounds when it is devised product improvements. They are exactly the same sentiments, but they are expressed differently. Words that I don't like to see in a CV is I can work on my own initiative and part of a team because if you are in a certain level of position, ideally you would be able to do that. Um, I like to see things like passion, passionate, driven, um, especially if they're in a sales um, environment, um, if they're in a, a caring environment that they, um, they are a keen listener. Related to that is Anything which puts yourself down or criticises yourself, maybe in a semi-humorous way, again, that reads rather oddly in a CV and sounds very negative. And talking of negative behaviour, try to avoid any negative information in your CV. It's actually relatively easy to do. You don't actually need to give a reason for leaving every job. You don't have to talk about redundancy, although be prepared to discuss it at interview. And certainly you should put nothing in a CV which criticises a former organisation, a former business partner or your former boss. All it does is present you as someone who has a very negative take on life.